Okay, so I recently put out a blog post on uh, headaches and cervicogenic headaches specifically and how the muscles at the base of the skull can induce a headache. Okay, so let's kind of look at that. So if we take away the skin here on this model and take away some of the fascia there, um, we can look and see at the base of the skull all the muscles that attach. Okay, so the muscles we're really interested in as we take away a couple layers are these suboccipital muscles, right? So this little triangle of muscles here from where this one, this one, and this one all meet, okay? So these are collectively known as your suboccipital muscles, right, on either side. Um, typically, most people tend to get tightness through here because we're sitting at a desk all day and our head is forward, right, which tends to tighten these muscles up and which can cause um, a pulling sensation in through here and give headaches with referral symptoms up through, you know, kind of that temporal bone, right? You can even get uh, headache symptoms from these muscles up through the back of the eyeball as well. Um, so what I really wanted to point out here is the intricate relationship between these muscles and this thing right here, which is your suboccipital nerve, okay? So we highlighted it in purple there. Now when these muscles get tight, they can compress on this nerve and that's really what you know, what can uh, give you those headache symptoms. So if we kind of zoom in on that, and you just take a look at where that nerve comes out, it runs right underneath these muscles, okay? So if we zoom out again, you can see just the relationship and proximity, how close those are to each other. And you can imagine, right, with all the fascial connections and things like that, how tightness in through these muscles can be compressing on that nerve. Now, let's go ahead and take away the nerves, right? Um, now, just for a better viewpoint, you can see just the muscles without the nerves. So what we're looking at here is we want to stretch these muscles out. Now, how do we do that? Um, perhaps the best way to do it is, you know, tucking the chin back, right? That's what a lot of people will tell you. Uh, but I recently uh, put out a video with another stretch on how to specifically stretch these muscles that I will put links to in the comments section of this video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.